Do you want to do the intro? You sound over the one with the voice. My vo my video voice? Your video voice. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Kim and Brady's Mostly Paleo Kitchen. Have you ever noticed that I put Kim before Brady yeah. in the title? Mm -hmm. I did that on purpose. What is the purpose? <laughs> All right, I don't know. I'm just messing around. You didn't really do it on purpose, but so, now you'd like to I, say I actually you did. did. I did. So tonight, what are we having for dinner? Do you think that gives you bonus points? I was hoping. Mm. That was the purpose, hoping for some bonus points. All right. So we are having General So's Chicken in the Instapot Paleo from... Paleo Running Mama. Paleo Running Mama. We love your recipes. Uh, this one's no exception. It is a little bit uh, tedious to make. A lot of steps, um, but I've tasted it and it's good. And my favorite carrots. The traditional herbed carrots. I changed one thing though this time and it worked way better. So the recipe calls for coconut oil. And then it's like rosemary, thyme, garlic, all these other things. But what happens is, and coconut aminos, but as soon as you have coconut oil out of the hot part for like any amount of time, it starts hardening, thickening. I don't know what the word is. And then it like congeals on the carrots and then the herbs don't like spread. So this time I used extra virgin olive oil. It may not taste as good, I don't know, but I don't think it'll we'll really out. alter it. But then I just mixed it all in a bowl. So I just put all the carrots in the mixing bowl with the extra virgin olive oil, the coconut aminas, and the seasonings, and I just laid them out on the parchment paper. Yep. So at least it was easier, and then they're all equally covered. Yep. So this, uh, the General So's Chicken's a new recipe for us. We will share the recipe in the description of the video. Um, I was surprised at how much apple cider vinegar it had in it. He made the chicken, I made the carrots, so. Yep. So um, we will talk more later about apple cider vinegar and the benefits from using it. I thought you wanted um, to talk something about how it's not hard to eat this way. Well, that too. It, We've had a couple people come to us this week um, and with very bad debilitating autoimmune problems and telling us that they just can't eat this way. And I just... I don't understand how you can not right. eat this way. It's not hard, and it tastes good. You do have to cook. Like, you're going to have to take steps, but this is a heck of a lot easier than going to the pharmacy and pounding pills, in well, my opinion. Well, easier? Wrong word. Mm. Makes well, you feel better about yourself. There you go. So, okay. we're going to eat, and um, feel free to send us your questions, and yeah, it's time for dinner. Enjoy your dinner. See ya. Thank you.